Russia is out of options to win the war in Ukraine. On day 37 of the Russian invasion of Ukraine, Russian troops are still failing their primary objectives while the Ukrainian forces are launching limited counterattacks, reclaiming lost territory. Meanwhile, a helicopter raid on an oil depot in the Russian city of Belgorod raises questions about the identity of the attackers. The drama in Mariupol continues. Russian forces have failed to take the city with ground troops, and so they have resorted to a campaign of indiscriminate bombing. A humanitarian relief convoy is trying to reach the Ukrainian port city. Ukraine counterattacks. In its daily estimate of the war, the British Ministry of Defense assessed that the Ukrainian military is counterattacking in places and making topical gains. It remains to be seen what actual offensive capability the Ukrainian military can mount, defending is easier than attacking. Ukrainian forces have retaken the villages of Sloboda and Lukashivka to the south of Chernihiv and located along one of the main supply routes between the city and Kiev. Ukraine has also continued to make successful but limited counterattacks to the east and northeast of Kiev. Both Chernihiv and Kiev have been subjected to continued air and missile strikes despite Russian claims of reducing activity in these areas, the British military intelligence assessed. Strategic strike or false flag? On Friday night, two Mi-24 helicopters attacked an oil depot in the Russian city of Belgorod, which is close to the Ukrainian border. Video footage of the attack shows the helicopters launching several missiles against the humongous oil storage tanks. But the Ukrainian general staff hasn't verified that the attack against the oil depot was conducted by Ukrainian helicopters, raising questions if the event was a Russian false flag operation in order to justify more brutal methods against Ukraine.